Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to the JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Trophy Case Reward, Derek Rose. I am one of the first people in the world to have grinded for this card and got him on my own account. As y'all can see, I got this card on my Money Spent account. Uh, spent a lot of time and effort getting this card today. It was a lot of work. Uh, had to play a lot of different modes, things like that. And the biggest thing was getting the centerpiece token or a trophy for this, which I had to complete 6,000 points in a Unlimited. We're 27 and 1 in Unlimited right now. Number something like um, 61. Yeah, so I'm number 14 in the world right now in Unlimited. Been playing a ton of Unlimited and I had to play some other modes as well to get this Derek Rose. It was definitely a grind, but I got him pretty quick and he is an absolute monster. Um, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 7,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already. If you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and talk about D Rose. So D Rose is 639 on offense 90 defense coming with a 98 driving layup 98 draw foul 94 close shot 88 mid-range 84 three-pointer 95 driving dunk 95 ball handle 80 steel 85 perimeter not very good block or interior defense and he's not a great rebounder but he's got 98 speed sweep ball and excel and an 88 lateral quickness so in terms of his stats he is absolutely incredible now badge wise i did fully badge my d rose up so he has 10 hall of fame badges and 29 golds he comes with the 10 hall of fame badges base the 29 gold badges include all of the badges that i could upgrade from silver and bronze to gold which are all of his badges because all of his badges are upgradable as well as the badges that i did add to the card but 10 hall of fame badges include acrobat fast twitch fearless finisher limitless takeoff posterizer slippery clamps breaker hyperdrive quick first step and pogo sticks there's some really really good badges there additionally 29 golds include bully giant slayer blinders catch and shoot uh corner specialist a dead eye guard up limitless range midi magician slippery off ball space creator ankle breaker bailout dimer floor journal handles for days killer combos mismatch expert unpluckable chase down artist clamps and interceptor and pick dodger and i do want to hop over to 2kdb real quick got this pulled up over here just so y'all can take a look at what his badges look like on the base card this is him without without those badges basically being upgraded so he is slightly worse obviously but still an amazing amazing card for sure uh these are what his badges look like as a base card before i updated him but uh yeah he's an amazing amazing card let's hop in a freestyle and check out his animations all right, so the first thing to say about D-Rose, first of all, he moves incredibly well, especially for early in my team. He is just so quick, so effective, can slash them at such an incredibly high level, is such an elite. I mean, first of all, slashing, he's going to be absolutely incredible. But additionally, he's got a really, really good jump shot. He's got Kobe size up, which is the, one of the best size ups in the game. And the jumper is incredibly smooth. It's fast. It's easy to green. It's one of the best jumpers in the game. And especially now that I added limitless range blinders and dead eye as three shooting batters to the card, it makes him even better and makes him a really, really consistent knockdown shooter as well in addition to his ability to slash storm at a crazy high level and play really, really solid perimeter defense. Um Additionally, I did also add the Clamps badge and the Interceptor badge. Those are the five badges I added were Limitless Range, Blinders, Deadeye, Clamps, and Interceptor. And those are the five that I would recommend adding to the card if you want to pick him up for your squad. In terms of his full court dribble sticks, I will say they're not incredible. His behind the back is not very good. His between the, leg is, between the legs is okay. But in the half court, he moves incredibly well with the D-Rose size up and the Kobe escapes. So very, very good sigs for sure on this Derrick Rose card. He is very, very fast as well. And it's just going to be an absolute monster really on both ends of the court but especially offensively going to be the probably the best point guard in the game and i am incredibly excited to get gameplay with him and check out what he can do so without further ado let's hop right into it and let's see what derrick rose can do looking at our opponent's team he's got pink diamond curry and pink diamond dominique pretty darn good squad all the way around even has a uh is that patrick ewing at center so he's got free agent center at will his team is absolutely soup so this is a great test for derrick rose here in this clutch time game going up against steph curry who's probably the best point guard in the game before this d rose was available uh at least off a of launch so i definitely think this is a great test for this team hit it into Giannis back out to ooh, that's a bad catch for levine but he's gonna pull right by get to the lane and throw down an explosive dunk to give us a good start to the game up to to nothing can we play a decent amount of defense please interested to see how d rose competes defensively against curry as well that's 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 another question i kind of have because i haven't really seen he does get blown by there that's not exactly what you love to see but um I do want to see if he can compete defensively against curry and not really require switching matchups and stuff because if he's a super solid defender that would be nice hit it into pow back out to d rose d rose attack see if we can shoot a spin jumper or something that's not a very good offensive possession we do get the board though d rose catch and shoot wide open four three green light that's what i love to see smooth release easy to green d rose knocks it down gives us a five to two lead 
All right, he's pressing up on D Rose, making me work to get the ball at the court. That is all right, though. D Rose behind the back attack. Go baseline. All the way, D Rose. All the way. Yes, sir. Laying it up and in. Green light on the layup as well. Knocks that one down and gets puts us up seven to four. Very, very solid offensive start for D Rose with five points. And I even kind of created the other bucket as well, even though it wasn't an assist. That's a bad pass. Dominique must not have bailout. Throws it out of bounds. And now we have the ball with a chance to extend our lead. Hopefully, make this game tough for him to come back. See what we can do on offense. D Rose run up the court. Why not? Just go right by him. Attack baseline. Okay, I, I wanted to attack baseline, but it got cut off beautifully by Curry. I'll say that. Uh, attacking the. I like that shifty cross he seems to have. Getting to the rim. Derek Rose throws down another dunk. He's just too fast. What a great performance. Are we going to get a quit? Oh, I thought we were going to get a quit right there. Not quite a quit yet, but Derek Rose is absolutely dominating on the offensive end of the court so far. Get back out on Curry. Good defense. He shot a terrible shot with Steph. That is a board. Let's go. D Rose, throw it over to. Yes, sir. Good. He got the ball. Beautiful attacking go all the way through d rose into pow his ability to draw attention is so impressive as well we're not gonna be able to get a bucket here i don't think although the spin move might get us a decent look ah, it wasn't a horrible look wasn't a great one though um he's kind of gas is the one thing i'll notice the stamina this year you can't dribble a over an, oh, a ridiculous amount with players d rose they'll go into the rim throwing down that d rose dunk as well and that's gonna be it right there dominant performance offensively by d rose in that game let's hop into one more and keep it going didn't see my opponent's team this game, but it does look like he still has a very, very solid squad. He's got himself Steph, a few free agent cards, and overall a very, very good team. D Rose blowing right by Steph, though. Getting it to Scotty Barnes. We'll take our catch and shoot three pointer. Scotty, green, green light. light. Green's a 22. Oh my gosh. Great shot by Scotty. Puts us up three to nothing. Nice assist. All right, let's get onto our offense here. Let's see what we can get going on the offensive possession here. Uh, burst here. Okay, chill, D Rose. There we go. Getting right through. That's to the rim. Oh, that was supposed to be a dunk. I shot a pull up accidentally. That's on me. That's not what I was trying to do. He's going to get a dunk on the other end. That's my fault. I wasn't. I, I think I had a pretty easy lane to the basket there, but unfortunately, I hit that X button too early. He shot himself a pull up mid range instead of the three pointer that I was looking for. Can I get a screen, please? Okay, my players aren't setting screens. It don't matter though. D Rose going to get another one. Anyway, still gets that blow by with his Hall of Fame quick first step and throws down a dunk to tie the game up at five see what he can do defensively does look like my opponent is a decent player and he's got himself a good squad so this is a nice little test i would say for the squad as well good defense that is not a very good shot and that should be our board no it's not patrick ewing just beasts on me on the rebounds which is kind of annoying good defense Giannis. Giannis, come on fight fight blake lays it in it's just tough to play against these free agent cards, man. These cards are so good compared to my Amethyst Giannis, my Amethyst Pal, especially the bigs, I feel like are really a, a little bit above the rest of the cards in the game right now, unfortunately. But Giannis going right through, attacking the rim, drawing a foul. We'll take it. I got to give my opponent credit. He is playing very, very solid offense. Definitely a guy who knows what he's de doing. So good to see that out of him. But D-Rose just blowing right by. He's, he's, on fire. he's just too quick. He gets by good dudes so easily and is able to attack the rim at such a high level. Really, honestly, a bit unfair at the point guard position, I feel like, right now with his speed and his athleticism. In addition to the fact that he's got a smooth release, so you can't just sag off him because he's capable of shooting a three-pointer at a high level as well. Not just a slasher, which is also very nice stop. And I really could have shot that. But this is, I mean, this is Pau Gasol and Steph. If I miss that, I don't know we'll take our assist and that gives D-Rose four and two on the game again having a really really good performance in the second clutch time game good board by pow get the ball to D-Rose and push the ball in transition again size up here D-Rose pump think oh I could have maybe shot that that would have been a little bit of a force though potentially drag back D-Rose dude shoot over him top why not D-Rose getting a little bit of space and that's green his release is quick it's smooth it's easy to green he's not just a slasher he's just such a perfect offensive point guard right now in the game moves well slashes at a crazy high level can create for his teammates and also is a really good shooter just such a high level card especially for this early in the year I tried to leak out that I'm low-key almost I'm low-key going to give up a three there because I tried to leak out with D-Rose and I do good shot by my opponent shouldn't have given that up I shouldn't have leaked with D-Rose I tried to get out in transition get myself another dunk but we'll take it regardless it is all right still up by four sizing up again dragging back again Derek Rose attacking baseline again going up strong again and he's tired so he shoots a layup instead of a dunk gets blocked that's not really his fault just dribbled a lot within that possession so he was tired and unfortunately was not able to get up the type of look that I would like to get into the rim and dunk in the ball but very very good defense again tough a tough shot for my opponent if he greens that yeah. You know what? Props to him. This dude just greened some tough shots. He's playing very, very solidly on the offensive end of the court, especially. So good for him. He's a very solid player for sure. But uh, D-Rose, attack. Attack. You are gassed. He is so gassed. That is my biggest complaint about this game. I think this game is in a really good spot. But the stamina... It, it, it's, it's a little tough at times, so I'll be completely honest. But still, D-Rose 7-3. And again, a very good clutch time performance. 
He misses a spinning, fading three. That was a crazy shot. If he'd hit that, this dude just might be the greatest player ever. But D-Rose attacking again, sizing up again, hit it. Oh, I wish he'd slip there. That's kind of annoying. Blow right by, though, Derek. Again to the rim. And again, he's going to throw it down. He's just so fast and such a good slasher. I mean, there's just nothing he can't do. 11 points and three assists on the game. Just an incredibly impressive performance, really, across the board. He's just so, so good offensively. <laughs> That is a tough shot, bro. Props to my opponent for greening some really tough shots. He knows how to use that X button, but unfortunately, he doesn't quite have a defensive answer for them. As I say that, I get blocked on a crab. That's annoying, but D-Rose don't care. He's going to get himself another steal. He's dominating, bro. He can do no wrong, literally. Free throw release as well on D-Rose is really good. He has a really good free throw release every single year, but it's even more important this year because you basically have to green every free throw or you're going to miss it. And D-Rose greens both of those. Super easy to free throw to green. He's just dominated this game. He's also got slashing takeover. That's good to know. We're probably not going to be able to, unfortunately, get any dunks with him or anything because the game clock is about to expire and that's a foul as well. That's game. Yeah. But still, another amazing performance by D-Rose. Let's hop back into the main menu and review the card. All right, in my opinion, Derrick Rose is the best point guard in the game. I'll say this right now, he's 100% better than Steph Curry. Compared to the other token, or I guess a trophy trophy case point guards that are available, which are like Russell Westbrook, Steve Francis, Jeremy Lin, those are probably the best other ones. I think Derrick Rose is better than all of them and is such a complete card because he's got an amazing release. He's a really good slasher, a very, very capable defender, especially on the perimeter, and a great shot creator as well, as well as incredibly fast and athletic, of course. He's just an amazing, amazing card, incredibly complete, and to have a point guard like this literally on day one of the game is absolutely insane. But uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.